another thing I seen, um, Dr. J, uh, he compared you to obviously six or great Allen Iverson. So talk a little bit about that. Like, what does that mean to be compared to AI and by Dr. J? Right, right. It's, uh, I mean, that's just, that's respect. I, you know, all you can do is appreciate that. Right. And, uh, you know, it's funny, like, everybody talks about, like, the energy that I bring and, like, the the, the enjoyment that I, I try to bring to the fans. Right. And uh, just talking to, to AI, you know, I call him OG. And every time he sees me, he just, he tells me, like, man, you, you're going to be the one. You're going to be the one. You can do it. You can do this. And uh, the faith that he has in me right. is... It's man, it's just it's a it's a feeling that you that just feels like no other. Nah, like, yeah, for like sure. Like you say, he's a great man. He's a great. He's just he won the best one. He's like Hall of Famer. He's, he's one yeah. of the ones at the end of the day. You know, he led the team to to the finals, and that you know that was a, a right. tough team to lead to the finals. They they were great, but what he was doing, and he got a game off the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like to for for Dr. J to say that, and for them to be around, and, and for the city to to kind of um, corral behind me. Yeah. And I uh, kind of get like that's very true. Yeah, I don't know, like so. I think like probably say like from the rookie year, we could, there was no fans. Yeah, obviously yeah. when I when I came to Philly and like last year, like you would see like Tyrese Maxi jerseys in there, but yeah. like this year, yeah. it's like I I got kids behind me, straight zero. I'm yeah. thinking like they're gonna wear Embiid, Harden, yeah, but yeah. like now you really like the fans really appreciate your your enjoyment that you bring right. to the game in such a city where like you know, everything's yeah. pressured, everything's hard, and it's like, yeah. relax, like, yeah. we're good. I think I think the biggest thing that the fans and I have in common is, like, uh, we had to work for everything we got. Right. Like, I'm not I'm not sitting here saying, like, you know, I had just, just horror life, but what I'm saying is, like, I didn't have, you didn't either, I didn't have a dad that grew up in the league, like, that yeah. played in the league or was, you know, I didn't have that type of spotlight. Facts. I had to create that on my own. Yeah. You had to create that on your own. You mm -hmm. had to work extremely hard to be the best version of yourself. And you had to, to put your name out there. You had to yeah. do that by being successful. So it's like, I worked so hard to get to where I am today. Yeah. And Philly fans, they work so hard to get the tickets that they have. Like, right. Yeah. They're not just these rich, all like rich people. They just yeah. work, they work their behinds off, work their tails off to get these tickets to come to the game. To it's see definitely this. a different feeling when you go to different arenas with yeah. the courtside people. Yeah. You can kind of tell like the, the whoever's in courtside, you can, you can kind of tell like they done grind it for them yeah, seats. Yeah, they work for them seats, man. Yeah. They work extremely hard for whatever business they're doing, whatever field of work that they're in. They worked hard, they work from the ground up. And it's like, I think that's where that connection comes in that, yeah. um, I'm not the tallest guy. I'm not the most athletic guy. I had to work on certain skills uh, to get to where I am. And, you know, I just really appreciate them, man. They've been great. They've been great to, to me and great to our team as a whole. I seen you were at the – I seen a picture. Somebody had posted you were at the, the uh, playoff game that yep. just happened. Yep. It was you, me, uh, Baby, <laughs> all, everybody in this. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Uh, how is it, you know, being around those guys? Uh, I know it's like a lot of people, um, even in the NBA, don't even get – you know, to be around those type of guys. Yeah. So, like, what's that like, you know, being in Philly and, and having those guys around in Philly? It's the market, man. The market and the city and the, you know, the brotherly love thing. It's, it's real here. Right. It's, you know, it's a legitimate thing. Like, uh, it's not it's not fake. And um, James coming in and the big fella, those those are, like, marquee guys. Right. So, like, the spotlight is always on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you can be able to play on, on that type of level on every single night. Like, you're going to be – you know, you're going to get the team's best shot because you have those guys and you have that 100%. type of talent. Yeah. But uh, it's cool to meet those people, man. You, you know, you just meet them and you really just pick their brain, man. Like, right. think about, like, Lil Baby, Meek Mill, Kevin Hart. That's crazy. These are, like, the top of the top of their craft. Right. Like, you know, you, you play with James and them, but you meet people in, in other professions. And see how their brain yeah, works. See how they, man, how they go, to, go to work every day. Yeah, it's nah. crazy. Then they teach you, like, certain, like, things to help you, like, with your career and then like your post career and like right. that's one thing that I really appreciate being here it's like the connection that I've made since I've been here right. uh, the connection that my uncle and my mom my dad have made you know that, that can set you up for you know the post career that's what I really appreciate about the city